Matthew, it seemed like the switch kind of flipped for you there in the second half. You know, another another big score night for you. Just kind of what was what was working for you, what felt good. Um, I feel like, you know, I got the floater to go t at the end of the shot clock in the first half. Then I got to see my first few threes go in. And from there, my teammates kept finding me. I kept shooting, and the shots were going in. Uh, three three games in, four if you count the uh, exhibition. Just how do you feel like you're getting more comfortable you know, in this system? Well, I feel like I'm getting very comfortable. You know, just the more I play, the more I practice. I feel like it just comes natural to me, just playing hard, and that's what I do. Matt, with, with Ruck, it's still trying to come back from this, this injury. You you have a different mindset. You put more on you to try to help be that that offense with him still out. Um, I mean, not really. You know, I'm still playing my game. You know, I created guys like TJ and Amari stepping up to play the one spot. I feel like they they help him fill their role. And, you know, when Ruffins come back, you know, I feel like my play style is uh, – I feel like he's going to actually make it easier for me because, you know, he, he creates he creates off the dribbling and stuff. So, he'll just make my game easier. You guys have now beaten uh, an Alcorn team that beat Wichita State the other day, an FAU team that just beat Florida, and this was an NCAA tournament team. Do you, do you feel the confidence growing within this group as you start beating these teams that you start to realize were, are, are pretty solid? Uh, of course, you know, uh, like Coach just told us, you know, you never take any win for uh, granted. You know, just come in, you know, at this day and age, you know, with the transfer portal, how it is, you know, everybody can compete at each level. You know, that's why we have, you see all the mid-majors being the high major teams, just so you just got to come out every day ready to play. And I feel like, you know, we're 3-0 right now. We're hoping to end this week at 4-0 going into Orlando, and we're just going to keep building off of that. I touched on it right there. Of course, your third year in college basketball, and you see kind of the evenness across the board and just this new era of everything kind of evolving around that. I mean, did you kind of expect it to be like this, you know, before the season or anything? Or? Um, initially, when I when they changed the rule to when you could transfer one time and automatically be eligible, um, I knew college basketball was going to be shaking up a little bit. So, With you all having to kind of grind out at certain points of these past three games, up with the game, like getting tight in some of these past three games, they've been able to pull away and, and handle some surges with so many kind of new faces. Is it helpful for you all now to kind of have this now when once the conference play gets here? Of course, you know, we've been able to come together in, uh, in the locker room. You know, most times our first half scores were kind of close, but we come together, we uh, made it. We've been putting emphasis on coming out in the second half and really stretching out the league. And you see, we've been able to do that. And, you know, we're just hoping to keep building on it, you know, and going to conference play with it. TJ, what, uh, what about tonight, it, I guess, gave you confidence that you can continue to, continue to build? I mean, uh, you know, before the game, I was shooting a lot. So coming into the game, I just felt very comfortable with my shot. And those first two went in, that's all I needed to just get going. Uh, you know, playing defense hard, that's what creates my offense. So that's what I do. Any further questions? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, guys. Thanks.